What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are actually inside of Lambeau Field just walking around taking our time burning some calories because we are about to head to Badger State Brewing where we're going to be taking on a massive burger challenge brought to you by Bay Area Burger Company, right? right. Bay Area right. Burger Company. I forget all these names are so long. Food truck. It is a food truck, but anyway, we're getting ourselves super hungry for that. Walking around Lambeau Field, I feel a little bit dirty because y'all know I am a big Seahawks fan, but we're gonna go do a Hall of Fame tour, look around. I hear it's pretty neat to go check out. We've been here and seen football games in the past. We did a Green Bay versus Seahawks game here a couple months ago, which was really neat. But anywho, that's plenty of talking. I will catch you guys at Badger State Brewing when the food arrives. All right, Kilo Crew, so the massive Get Smash Challenge has arrived here in front of me from Bay Area Burger Company. I'm going to have one hour to finish this insanely huge smash burger, which features five smash patties, the equivalent of 15 of their regular smash patties on this dinner plate sized brioche bun that is baked here locally, along with a giant side of their french fries here, which are shoestrings. And then I also have to finish one of their Sprecher root beers. One hour to take this on, $60 meal for free, this groovy hat, especially for myself and Randall, who will be taking on this challenge as well, and then a groovy t-shirt. So really looking forward to that. Giant smash patty, it's going to be delicious. Really looking forward to it. I do love me some smash patties. Along the way, I'm going to also sip on this brewski here from Badger State Brewing Company, just to give a little shout out to the fact that I am here enjoying this at a brewery. So it will be delightful. But without further delay, without stalling anymore, let's get this challenge started. <laughs> I'm already a little bit smashed because I started my day over at uh, 1919 at Lambeau Field uh, having a couple of porters. So, whoo, this is gonna be really interesting, but whoo, one hour to eat a giant burger. I am super hungry. One, two, three, let's get extra smashed. Here we go. Woo! Oh my goodness, that is heavy. Oh, and the onions are sauteed, by the way. That's coming in clutch. All right, Kilo Crew, welcome to the aptly named Get Smashed Burger Challenge video. Your girl was feeling pretty happy after a couple of porters over at 1919. I was in an awesome mood. There were some cool people in the crowd. I'll give you some more info in a bit. That is so good. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely ready for uh, more than just a little snack here. 10 out of 10 recommend. This thing is covered in pickles, sauteed onions, Dijon mustard, cheese. Can't go wrong. And I mean covered. There was definitely no shortage of toppings. 15 slices of cheese in total. I gotta tell you, it's been a long time since I've had root beer, so this is delightful. Absolutely delightful indeed. And I guess Sprecher is like the local hype, the pride and joy of the non-beer based community. And it was very delicious. I love me some root beer, some sarsaparilla. It's all good. The patties are so thin, they kind of merge into one, which is really nice actually. Try some fries. Traditional McDonald style greasy shoestring fry. The perfect thing to complement a root beer and a juicy burger. If there is ever a good time for a super salty, super greasy french fry, it is after a few drinks, so I was in a very happy place. These fries are perfect. I can feel myself sobering up as I eat them. Woo, let's mm. go. I have to actually give a special shout out to this crowd. There were quite a few people there to see Randy and I do this challenge, but there was also a large number of people there just enjoying the AFC NFC Championship Conference game. So big thank you to them for cheering me on. Sauteed onions are awesome. Soaking them up with the fries. Yeah, you can see all that sauce there, but this ends up coming back to kind of bite me later and I'll, uh, I'll explain more. There's more fries under that bun. Look at that! Yeah! It has its own zip code! 
So my original plan was actually to save the buns of the burger for the end as I typically would do. So I was trying to soak off all of that, that sauce that was on there instead of having to eat like a sloppy mayonnaise bun at the end. And uh, yeah, I ended up kind of changing my strategy in just a bit. All right, y'all, fries are almost gone. We're getting there. Anyways, a bit more backstory. This was such a fun environment that I was in here. I was super happy, as I'll later mention in the video, to actually finally get to meet Magic Mitch, one of Randy's original close friends who has done tons of food challenges. So I was really pumped to finally get to meet him in person and his entire family as well. Sprecker is bringing me to life. We're getting there. Fries are down for the most part. On to the burger. Yeah, I think I take down about a patty and a half, maybe a little bit more than that before I kind of do a little zigzag on my strategy here and change it up a bit. Uh, you'll see what happens. All right. All right. This is about to be the sexiest thing you've ever seen. I've mentioned it before, but uh, this will be featured on my OnlyFans later. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, a lot of meat if you know what I mean. Yeah, so changed up the strategy, went for the burger as it was intended to be since it was a nice soft brioche bun and not the traditional crusty sourdough. It's actually quite delightful as a burger, even though I can like hide behind them. There was also a bit of a mental trick to this as well. It looked much less intimidating when it was all put together like this as opposed to spread out and filleted open with the bun on the side. Let's put it all in there. Oh yeah. And this is where I said that my strategy before kind of came back to bite me, where I took off all of that extra sauce to put on the fries. This ended up really needing the sauce on there. When all the patties kind of smooshed together, it made it a little bit dry, and it really needed that mayo I got rid of. That's delightful. Boom, here we go. Oh. This is about where I got a little bit intimidated. All of the grease was starting to kind of build up on me and I was feeling some type of way. We're getting there, y'all. I have like uh, three quarters left of this uh, small hometown. Then we're done. Forever the optimist. This thing was super heavy to pick up. I left that thud audio in there so that you could hear just how heavy it was. There was a table right in front of me that was just getting a kick out of hearing that thing hit the table. Oh, yeah. It is a matter of pride that I win tonight. Randy's original lover, Magic Mitch, is in the crowd because he's a local Green Bay guy. Yeah. I got to impress. Yeah, I have to end this challenge with some uh, celebratory push ups. So here we go, let's dominate. <laughs> I was definitely looking forward to doing Mitch's signature 10 victory push-ups when he finishes a food challenge, which is harder than you think it would be. To do some push-ups when you're that full is quite the struggle, so I was looking forward to doing that little flex in front of him there. Hey, can you give me like a kitty cocktail? I have zero problem ordering one. A kitty cocktail? A kitty cocktail, thank you. I'm ordering a kitty cocktail. It's sweet, my sprecher is gone. <laughs> So the fries and the sprecher are gone. That part of the challenge is done. I should be an adult and drink a beer, but that didn't happen. My sweet tooth was running crazy during this to counteract the sodium, and I had seen a kiddo order a kitty cocktail, so I figured I might as well get in on the uh, the sweet cherry action. I have no problems admitting I need a kitty cocktail to get me through this. Oh, that's delightful. That's like a liquid Tootsie Pop. Oh, mama. Yeah, the pain, the struggle is setting in at this point. I, oh, I remember this feeling not too fondly. <laughs> oh, I was definitely digging deep here. I was giving this my all, and I was really struggling. My stomach was turning for some reason, uh, we won't blame it on the beer. It's time to bust out the ketchup. It ain't Heinz, but it's ketchup. My only complaint to the whole challenge, no Heinz. Ooh, sorry. Ketchup to the rescue. 
little uh, creative foreshadowing here. Ketchup did not, indeed, come to the rescue. <laughs> Nothing was working. All right, I'm mentally telling myself I have about two hours left. And that is plenty of commentary from me. I am definitely looking forward to coming back to Bay Area Burger Company when they become a brick and mortar location and not just a food truck. Their food is delicious. But yeah, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Mm. Oh, come on. unfortunate ending. I made it to about 47 minutes in. I have maybe, I don't know, not even like a fifth of the burger left. Unfortunate ending. It was a delicious, delicious burger. Delicious challenge overall. I love me some Sprecher root beer and this kitty cocktail definitely helped. But uh, for losing, I do not get the meal for free. I do not get a groovy t-shirt, but hopefully I do get to keep this groovy hat. So a big thank you to Bay Area Burger Company. A big thank you to Badger State Brewing for hosting this amazing challenge. And a big thank you to everyone here who cheered me on. I really appreciate everyone for watching me and the game. So, uh, that was a lot of fun, but uh, that was a whole lot of burger for a whole little tiny thing. We'll say that, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. We love you, Katina. Oh,